and welcome. My name is Tolan and I'm the co-founder of Productivity Me. In this video, we're going to look at the keyboard shortcut of Control Shift N as a way to extend our selection from our active cell to the last cell in our worksheet or the last cell that has had data within our worksheet. So with that, we're going to open up book three. And right before we ended the last video, we looked at pressing the Shift key and clicking with the left portion of our mouser mouse in order to select all of these individual cells. However, there is a specific keyboard shortcut that would allow us to do this. If you press the control key, the shift key and the home key, it will go from our active cell, this cell here, to the upper leftmost cell. So wherever we are on a worksheet, we can actually get to this bottom cell and ev select everything in between by pressing control shift end. But because Excel thinks that we have made a large selection, it would actually go all the way to this end of our spreadsheet. So instead, we're going to come here and we're going to input data. We're going to put one, two, three, four, five. We'll go one, two, three, four, five, six. Maybe we'll extend these over. If we want to select everything between cell A1 and cell E6, the fastest way to do that would be to press Control Shift End, and it would make that selection. If we were here on cell B2 and we wanted to go and select everything between B2 and E6, we would press Control Shift End. If we wanted to select everything between E6 and our home key, if E6 is our current active cell, we press Control Shift Home. If we wanted to go between everything D4 and A1, Control Shift Home. So again, both Control Shift Home and Control Shift End are a quick way to select all of the data in your individual cell. However, if you had data outside of that region, Control Shift End would go and extend to that individual cell. It would be true here if we had eight. We're gonna go Control Shift End. Clearly, that didn't work very well. Control Shift End, and it would extend there. Even when we clear the contents of these individual cells, when we press Control Shift End, Excel believes that at some point we put data in the cell, so it might be important. Thus, it would extend our data or our selection up until column K and row 15. So with that, in our next video, we will look at the keyboard shortcut of F8. Similar to what we talked about when we used Shift F8, F8 will allow you to extend your selection by toggling it on and off. Check that out in our next video, and we'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching.